Welcome everyone back to my channel and here is actually a first. First of all, let me encourage you to click that subscribe button and click the bell notification for upcoming videos. I'm not sure if you saw the most recent short, but I had mentioned I was hoping to get a video up on the homestead while I'm here this time, first time here in three months. I was hoping to get one and do you see what I have in front of me right here? I have a quarter of deer. Got a deer last night. So excited, so excited. Also right here in front of me, I have two ducks. I've got a male and a female. That'll be another video. I'll be doing that tomorrow, but I just want to show them. I am excited to try that as well. So I'm not sure if you've seen a previous video that I made just over a year ago and it was bottling deer slash venison. So that's what we're going to be doing today on the lakefront. How gorgeous is it here today and what a beautiful day. So first of all, I'm going to get started, take you step by step through the process and what you need to do and uh, let's get started. So as you can see right here, I can't recommend this knife, Outdoor Edge, enough to you guys. You have to try it. It has replacement blades. This is gold. Guys, have a look at that meat. How does that look right there? I cannot wait to try this. And the great thing about this quarter, quartering up your meat right here with this deer, just cut it out in chunks. And the knife, you just need to glide your knife along. Guys, you see how easy that cut that. Take your time preparing your meat, getting rid of all of this right here. It makes for a better quality harvest for sure. Well, there you have it. This is actually just one quarter of the deer. So what I've done here, as you can see the bone, I've got every bit of meat that I can get off the bone here. So this is going to be the meat that I'm going to be cutting up into cubes for the bottles. So I'm gonna slice all this into cubes and I'll be right back once I get all cut outdoor edge. Gotta love it. How good does this look? I feel like I wanna bite into it right now. So now that my venison has all been cut into nice cubes, have a look guys, check it out. This is only, like I had mentioned, one quarter. So I have three times this amount to bottle, hence the 24 mason jars. So now that the onions the venison, I have my salt mason jar. So last thing for prep is your pork fat. Now I suppose realistically with these, you wouldn't want cubes this size. So this size is kind of nice. But then again, if I decided to go this a little bit smaller, it's not a big deal. So after you've done half right here, just flip your pork around, your fat back around, guys, and just right in underneath. Just like that. Get every little piece off your fat back that you can get. Because as I mentioned, this is going to make your bottled venison taste amazing. So as you can see right in front of us here, folks, all we have is our venison, pork fat, onion, and just normal table salt. So first things first, take your mason jar. In these bottles, I put one teaspoon of salt. Now, if you, 
for any reason you don't like or don't need that much salt, that's fine because you can always add it after folks. So for myself, and it's definitely not super salty, I put in one teaspoon on the bottom. That is it for my salt. Now after your salt, you're going to put in just probably two tablespoons of onion, one big chunk of fat back, and then you want to fill your mason jar about one third full because you're making, like I said earlier, about three layers. Back to your onion, another piece of fat back, more meat. As you can see right here, we're already three quarters full. So more onion, another piece of fat back, couple more pieces. Now push it down, give it a good push down. I like to stay below this rim right here where your lid goes on. There you have it. And I know some of you may be looking at jars and thinking, wow, Blondie, you just put onions on the top as well? Well guys, in all actuality, I did cut a lot of onions. Onions as well as the pork and salt make this venison bottled venison tastes amazing. So I just threw some extra onion on top of the jars. The box that your mason jars come in when you purchase them at the store, keep that box because that's a great box to store your bottled of venison. Once everything is cooled down, they can go back on the shelf into that box, back on the shelf, there you go. And I'm going to put it on just so it's nice and snug, just like that, that easy. So don't, Put your jars into boiling water. Make sure you gradually, in the initial boiling, put your warm water in, put your jars in, and let it come to a boil. And when you add water, because you'll have to keep adding water, to keep the water up as much as you can, right up about three quarters to cover your jar, add boiling water to this. Do not add cold water because if you do, and I've done it and learned a lesson, never did it again, it will crack your bottles. Don't forget that. Well, there you have it. Once your bottles start to bubble, folks, and it gets heated up really well, Turn it down a bit. You don't want it bubbling out over. Just keep it at a steady boil. This is a great day to be doing it outside and bottled venison for supper. All right, now that that process is done, repeat, repeat, repeat. I have to do that three more times, three more quarters to go. So I'll be right back. So here we are. We are at three hours right now. Mama showed up for a visit and she's taught me everything I know. Seeing the cover is on the roaster. Mom had mentioned three hours is all she really done and definitely with this cover. So now it's time to get the bottled venison slash deer out of our boiler and it may take a 24 hour period before they actually seal. If you're laying in bed and you hear pop, don't worry about it, it's just your jars. Some of these actually will pop in a few hours, but not all. So don't worry if a couple of your jars don't pop. My word of advice is to just eat that one first. There you have it. And like I'd mentioned earlier, once your meat, pork fat, onions, and your salt, once it all boils down, you will have some space in your jars. But like I said, you can clearly see right now, there was absolutely no need to add water. And for a lot of you that suggest you need to add some form of liquid, as you can clearly see in these bottles, they are full of liquid which let me remind you is delicious gravy. I have nine bottles of venison right now. It's time to put in the rest. 
in total, actually, I had about 24 jars of venison from this deer that I had got this time. On that note, I'm going to leave you for now. Enjoy a bottle of my venison for supper. And let me remind you before I go, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.